Now that's how you win, ladies and gentlemen. You jump your teachers. It's Tanya here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I have started a little series on my channel where I make anonymous Google Forms and you guys send me in some of your secrets and some of these videos do have themes to them. So for today's video, I have revealing your prom secrets because it's prom season. Even though it probably already ended for most people, some people's are in June. So yeah, I asked you guys to submit me some of your crazy stories from prom. I've only found a few. A lot of you apparently haven't been to prom because you're not a senior yet, so that's fine. As always, I want to give credit to iDubs for starting this trend. She started this whole revealing my subscriber secrets video series, so all credit to her. I will have her channel linked in the description. I I've only have a few. But they're juicy and I'm uncomfortable, but like it's fine. So with that being said, let's get into these freaking secrets to give you kind of like the taste of what this video is going to entail. Um, I'm just gonna read this first one. It's very short and sweet and to the point, but um, yeah, I, I had to put this in because me. So this little secret is that um, this girl jumped a teacher because she didn't win prom queen. Now that's how you win, ladies and gentlemen. You jump your teachers. Please don't jump your teachers if you don't win prom queen. That's f***ing hilarious. This girl, probably, they're announcing prom queen. She's standing in the audience like, Oh my god, this is my moment. I've, I've, I've lived for this moment my entire life. And they don't announce her name, so she like runs on the stage, tackles the teacher that, that made the announcement. Like These other ones are all kind of mini story times, so bear with me. There were two pregnant girls in my grade. Only one of them went to prom. She had been dancing all night, getting down, and well, she went into labor. <laughs> oh no. Her water broke while she was in the bathroom and her friends had to handle it because our administrators were on the dance floor bopping to Old Town Road. Why don't you guys like call an ambulance? Teenage girls should not be taking care of a woman in labor in a bathroom. You need like a professional pediatrician, you know, to deliver that child, but that's insane. I can't tell if this is real or not because of the old town road thing, but knowing people in my generation now, that's probably true. The teachers probably were like, nah, we ain't gonna help the pregnant girl. We go pop to the old town road song. So I don't really know what to believe, but you know, I'm just gonna go with the benefit of the doubt and I really hope that girl and that baby is okay. So at prom this year, it had to be shut down only 30 minutes in. Everyone was dancing and having a good ass time, but then two <laughs> the person that wrote this is still so salty, you can tell by the words they're choosing. Everyone was dancing and having a good ass time, but then two dumbasses <laughs> literally started having in the middle of the dance floor. Y'all couldn't have waited till like after the prom? <laughs> Everyone was recording it and the teachers had to pull them apart. Ew. <laughs> Ew, I would hate. Oh my god, imagine just being a teacher trying to enjoy the freaking dance and. When when people sign up to be chaperones, I'm pretty sure they don't expect to have to pull apart two teenagers having s during prom. Ew! Y'all, y'all too young for that. Y'all are only seniors in high school, man. Y'all are so young. You need a you need a chill with that shit, especially in public. It just sucks that two people ruined everybody's prom, but that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> Yo, juicy content. So my prom was a few years ago and I had been saving a dress for about a year. I'm like the complete opposite. I bought my dress like a week before prom. I am the biggest procrastinator ever. But hopefully I can pop up a picture on the screen of my prom. It was two years ago. Two years ago I wore like a white dress with a little hole there, heart shaped neckline with some mesh. It was white. I looked like I was a bride. But if not, yeah, I'm, I was always the biggest procrastinator ever. I worked pretty much every day to get the money. Oh my god, good for you. I bought a beautiful dress and everything only to the next week discover that my cat had barfed all over it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I started crying and told my parents, which they said they'd sort it out. What the hell does that mean? If anything happens to this cat, y'all, I came back from school the next day and my mom told me she took the cat to the vet and that no one's going to deal with that menace anymore. Oh my god, did they put down your cat because it barfed on your dress? Take it into the dry cleaner. <laughs> y'all didn't have to kill the cat. Why should I do that to the cat, man? So anyways, I went to prom and then one of the teachers had a heart attack. 
Wow, that's a really an extreme prom. Saddest week ever. A dead cat, a dirty dress, and a dead math teacher. Oh my god. That's insane. I don't even know what to say. Don't underage drink, kids, okay? It's not cool. It won't make you popular. It kills your brain cells. These three cheerleaders snuck alcohol into prom and were hysterically... <laughs> Way to be obvious. They were hysterically laughing and shrieking by the end. They tried to form a pyramid with two on the bottom and one on the top. Oh god, I can already tell this is gonna be a disaster. Everyone was staring at them because the one on top was swaying dangerously. Oh no. Oh my god. Her date went over to get her down and then she fell on top of him. How? Uh, ow. <laughs> However, she fell and bent his head back and he slipped it on the floor. Ow. I'm just thinking back to when I got my concussion in, in 12th grade and that hurt like a He was unconscious and ended up with a concussion. Oh my god, me! I think that girl was grounded for like that is so much in one night. Knowing me, I'd be the person when all that was going down was just watching like Why? Why are the people in my grade such idiots? And then leave. He freaking slammed his head on the floor. That must be so painful. Hopefully he didn't get like, well, a concussion is technically a little brain damage, but I hope he didn't get freaking badly brain damage. And that girl probably learned her lesson and that she probably shouldn't drink that much. So life lessons at prom, guys. Hey, this is the last one and it's kind of juicy. It's the juiciest one, I'm telling you. And it's the longest one. So if you're ready for a little prom story time. Oh my God, I do have a prom story time actually. Fun. <laughs> prom is going Fine. Oh my god, love that for you. I went with my boyfriend. Everything was great. Then he said he had a family thing and he needed to go back. Oh girl, that's a red flag. Since he was my ride, he said he would drop me off at home. It was still pretty early and I wanted to stay. I told him it was no problem and I would just catch a ride with one of my friends. He kept on stressing that we needed to go. Turns out he had another date and wanted to drop me off so he could pick her up and spend half the problem with me and half with this other girl without her seeing us or us seeing each other. His plan was to drop me off, pick up this person. We had been together for seven months. Three out of seven months of our relationship, my boyfriend had a side chick. Long story short, we broke up. Damn right you did. Did he really think he could take two girls to the same prom? Like, did he not think that if he took you, and if it did work out that he did drop you off at home, people would see him come back with another girl and not, like, tell you? Um... Hey Tracy, I don't know your name, I'm just gonna say Tracy. Hey Tracy, where are you? Uh, Jack's out here with this other girl that's not from her school. I don't think he really thought that through. Man, when you're dating someone or talking to someone or trying to be friends with someone, people show you who they are. So he showed you who he was and you are better off without him. Okay, like come on prom man. You had to do that to someone on their prom day, I just, don't understand. I have an interesting prom story myself, man. <laughs> prom was shit in my year. It was shit. The food was shit. The music was shit. <laughs> it was so bad. But it was fun in the sense that like I went with my friends and the people I love. So I had a great time just being able to be with my friends and dancing and dressing up. But the whole thing with prom though for me was like our after party and so much shit went down. It was insane. Don't really want to talk about it, but it's fine. I maybe maybe one day I'll tell you. I don't know. But for now, that's gonna be sort time that's gonna be in my head and in my head only but with that being said I do hope you guys enjoyed this video of me revealing your prom secrets if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up let me know if any of you watching have some crazy shit that's happened to a prom whether it was years ago or if you went to prom this year I would love to hear it in the comments down below I also have a playlist of other exposing my subscribers or revealing my subscriber secrets that I will have carded up here somewhere I never remember which side it's on but if you want to go check those other videos make sure you go click today's most notification shout out goes to Ella thank you for turning on my notifications I really appreciate it if you guys want to shout out my next video literally you just have to subscribe turn on notifications and comment down down below and you can be next I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video peace Mwah.